In this episode of Decoding Leading Industries, we have with us Mr. Rahul Poddar, Managing Director of Shakti Plastic Industries. Mr. Poddar, many thanks for joining us and this is the first time you have come on the show, so honor to have you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, it's my pleasure. Mr. Poddar, let's dive right into the conversation. Shakti Plastics Industries is on a mission to conserve the environment by reducing plastics pollution. What inspired you to start a company which is into recycling of plastics waste? Actually, uh, the company was started by my grandfather. So, uh, I am the third generation in this. We started in 1969 and uh, that time it was started with a vision of, of course, uh, on circularity, on, uh, it's, a, it's a environment friendly uh, industry. He insisted us as a young generation to enter into this uh, same business stream. I joined my business in 2007. We thought, okay, uh, you know, why to enter into the field of uh, waste where there is and there are unethical practices, unorganized sectors involved. But uh, moving with time, we realized that this is the future. We started uh, to expand ourselves in different regions, geographic regions of the country and uh, uh, recently with the new policy guidelines from uh, Central Pollution Control Board and MOEF. Uh, it, it gave us good support uh, systems for uh, expanding ourselves, scaling up our operations, businesses, connecting with good brands, uh, setting up good infrastructure. Uh, with the government support, we think that moving forward, uh, it's, a, it's a very great opportunity for all the recyclers uh, in India and scrap suppliers, the, the companies, the people who are the stakeholders uh, who are involved in uh, waste stream. Uh, it's, it's a golden time for all of us. Mr. Podar, I'm going to pick up on the point about uh, plastic recyclers and how it is an unorganized market. What are the obstacles faced by plastic recyclers in the Indian market? How has Shakti Plastics structured the unregulated and unorganized waste management sector from the marginalized waste pickers. Would you like to share a thought about it? This is the biggest challenge uh, for a recycler in India, where uh, the procurement is the biggest challenge. Right. As we know that in India, there are uh, there is not uh, a big support for infrastructure support for waste collection and logistic support. To set up a facility, we need good materials, segregated materials. Plastics has been generated every day. But the major challenge is like it's not been uh, channelized to recyclers. What we did as Shakti Plastics was very interesting. We found that uh, this is the biggest challenge of procurement. So we established our own MRF facilities across the country. We have overall we have uh, 65 MRF facilities where we collect materials, segregate, bail it and then channelize it to our facility. So we are not dependent on any unorganized sectors. Whatever collection has been done in the center, Shakti Plastics will buy 100% of the materials. So this is how we, we establish the supply chain for us. And this, is, this has helped us to scale up our operations business in different geographic regions. Would you perhaps explain the rationale of your recent MOU with Lionel Bissell, the most talked about partnership as of now? Yes, of course, uh, it's uh, one of our dream projects. And uh, we have been working on this since last two years with uh, Lionel Basil. Uh, so basically, uh, together we have decided to uh, set up a recycling plant which can produce food grade and non-food grade granules, recycled granules uh, for packaging applications. We will be having uh, one of the best infrastructure globally. This plant will be one of the biggest plant in India and going forward we will be scaling up our operations from 50,000 tons to 2 lakh tons. Uh, we will be starting up uh, this plant in by 2025 quarter 1. So it's still 2 years down the line. Uh, uh, we are setting up our first plant in uh, Madhya Pradesh, Indore. And uh, going forward uh, we will be scaling up this in, uh, in all the geographic regions of the country. Many, many congratulations for your LYV uh, MOU. Let's also talk about uh, Petalite Industries. You've partnered with Petalite. Take us through it. It all happened uh, when we met Madhugar Pareji, uh, the chairperson of Petalite. So, uh, you know, he is he is uh, based from, uh, you know, born and brought up in uh, Mahua, Bhavanagar mm -hmm. in Gujarat. So he called us and he told, like, we have done a lot of things. They have done a lot of things in uh, 
uh, Mahua area for children in education and uh, medical treatments and all. But uh, nothing on the waste side, waste. Right. So he told us, okay, we need to clean Mahua also, we need to handle things in proper way. With the support of the local municipal corporations, with support of uh, uh, Pedilite team, uh, we have started the collection part, cleaning part from entire uh, uh, city. Uh, apart from that, uh, we, we have also, uh, we are also setting up a recycling plant there. Whatever plastics will be procured, collected from Mahua area will be recycled there itself and the granules will be sold to again uh, industries who convert this granules into products. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. We hope the best. Uh, and coming to the end of the interview, uh, Mr. Podar, please do shed some light on Shakti Plastics Industries upcoming projects in the pipeline. Please. People generally tell us that you uh, Shakti Plastics is moving very aggressively. Going forward, uh, we again have, we have set a very aggressive target. Apart from Lionel Basel uh, project, we are uh, setting up five more recycling plants by 2020 by December 2023. Mm -hmm. uh, already, uh, there are some plants. Uh, the work is in progress. Uh, we are setting up a plant in Himachal, Baddi. Uh, we are we are planning uh, to start a plant in Delhi also, in Greater Noida and uh, one plant in Bangalore. Uh, we, we recently started a plant in Indore, which is again uh, one of the biggest plants for polyolefins in India. Uh, again, the expansion, we have started the expansion also. Within a year, we have started the expansion also. Oh, wonderful. We have a patented technology where we recycle these MLPs into granules. And these granules have been sold in the, uh, for other applications. So, uh, due to the policy, we are getting good quality of waste now segregated waste in build form so that's the reason we are setting a plant in different geographic regions to avoid high logistics cost uh, so that we can recycle our material in that particular state instead of transporting it to another state mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so uh, this is what we, we we are planning we also have one plant in dubai again where we import the waste from the uh, from other countries get it recycled in dubai and again ex uh, export it to other countries so, uh, a lot of things. We also uh, recently invested in startups, few startups in plastic waste management. One was Circle X, mm -hmm. which we recently did, it, and other is Feel Good. Now, uh, like for example, this tiles is, is manufactured out of municipal solid waste, mm. and this can be used anywhere. It has a four a ton load bearing capacity, forty ton load bearing capacity. Even a truck can go over this oh, how and it can be used in factories, it can be used on roads, on the pathways as an alternate to paper block. The one tile is one square feet and one kg. It is cost 50 rupees per square feet. Mm -hmm. Very economical viable. It's true, interlocking true. tile and all the properties we have tested it from all the government authorized labs. It's interlocking tiles. It can replace a lot of materials. So. Uh, like this tiles, we are manufacturing this dustbins. It can be used in cars for disposing of tissue paper, chocolate wrappers, and also. And again, everything is out of 100% out of waste. Hmm. So this is all uh, a part of sustainability, where we are more focused on uh, uh, sustainable products. Also, we are scaling up our operations uh, in product field, where we uh, manufacture a lot of products like garbage bags, benches, flower pots. That's a highly impressive lineup for uh, upcoming years. We wish you the best, Mr. Poddar, and many thanks for speaking with us again. For more stories on plastics and petrochemicals, stay tuned to Polymer Update.